morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In today's video, I am going to give you guys an etude to work on, to work on the left hand, specifically the left hand thumb action. Now, if you guys are like me, you kind of get tired of the same kinds of things over and over again. And this this is great for anybody who needs to work the, the left hand, but it's also great for anybody who is like kind of tired of practicing body makeup, right? I mean, that's like the standard for clarinet hand and finger exercises and I feel like there's not a whole lot of other options out there for exercising, um, exercising the hands, right? So th for those of you who don't know the John John, it is the standard in, in clarinet pedagogy for working on hand position and various aspects of, of hand and finger technique. And the first one starts out with working the pinkies and then you just basically go all the way up in the various combinations of, of um, fingerings and then the different etudes work other fingerings that use more fingers than just one finger and then I think uh, toward the end there are different etudes that work articulation. Now for like, I don't know, I went through a phase a couple of years ago, actually now much longer ago, <laughs> and as part of this phase I was working on the second etude and I did this every day for like a year and I I, it got to the point where my significant other would hear me starting up, I'd put together my clarinet and I'd start playing and he would be like, oh my god, not this again. And that's when I was like, well, I really like this. It's a really nice warm up, but, uh, but I don't know, maybe there are some other options out there. So. Fast forward a few years and I'm looking through a box of old music and you know when you're when you're a music teacher you kind of acquire things people are like hey I cleaned out my closet here's a bunch of stuff that I got I don't know if you need it and so I typically always just say yes yes give it to me and I'll go through it eventually well it took me 10 years to go through this this box of stuff or maybe more than that maybe like 15 to go through this box of music and I found I found um, a clarinet method book. Um, it's a Laz Lazarus clarinet method book. So I'm going through this box of, um, of clarinet music and I find the Lazarus clarinet method, which like I had never heard of that. I heard of Close and Behrman and like the Rubank series and things like that, but I haven't heard of this one. So I flipped through it and I'm like, wow, these, these look really fun, these etudes. And I got to, was like the 25 grand studies for clarinet. And right in there, number 11, there we go. Another etude that's different for body makeup to work the left hand. And it's right there in the throat tone range, right where I, I really like to work because, guys, come on, the left hand is often like, weak sauce, right? So we really, we really need to work that. So I start playing it and I'm like, yeah, this is fun. This is like melodic and it's pretty and it's not too hard. And it's just like, it was lovely. So, so some of the things I like to think about while I'm working through this is just making sure I'm hitting the keys in a way that will help me facilitate greater ease between the registers of the clarinet. And so it's an exercise for sure for the left hand thumb. Like you can kind of feel a little bit of the muscle, just like if you're not, if you're not used to it, you can really feel it burn a little bit. Um, and you can feel like kind of over the next couple of days of working on it, you know, you'll feel the muscle kind of build up. But, um, you know, once you're there, like, I, I try to like think about like, okay, where am I hitting on the key? Can I, can I facilitate a smooth transition between like B flat and C and A and C and things like that? And, and that's um, also a great opportunity to think about how far away from the thumb tube is my thumb coming, right? A lot of us will go and like come way out here, like a thousand miles away from the tone hole. Or some of us will like, for whatever weird reason, put our anchor, our thumb way down here and like work these like for 
some odd reason, right? And so this this will kind of help if you're thinking about your thumb position, you know, it'll kind of help you get out of weird habits. And so I try to keep my thumb as close to the back tone hole as possible whenever I'm working these and I'll know I'm doing it right if I can go right up to the next register easily and smoothly. So I think this is just as much a workout for the left hand um, as it is for coordinating the left and right hand because you have you get a few a few um, moments in here where you actually get to test this out going over the break and that's that's the true test can you play a smooth transition over the break here so and I really like this because this really starts off quite nicely and it gets a little more complex toward the middle and then it finishes off pretty pretty easily as well so I'm gonna go ahead and play this for you guys really quick. Uh, feel free to speed it up or slow it down if you wanna play along with me. Um, so I will be including a link below to my website where you can download it from. And patrons, you guys already have it because I have already sent it to you. Um, so you should have your own copies of it already. And yeah, enjoy. <laughs> Alright guys, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed playing along and I hope you guys have fun using this as your warm up maybe in the next couple of weeks. Let me know how it goes and you know, I know there are lots of teachers and really great players who watch my channel. So if you guys have some favorite etudes and exercises that you like to do that's also maybe a little different than the status quo of Zhan Zhan, please leave them in the comments below. I'm always looking for new ideas and new stuff to practice. Lastly, I'd like to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. I just got a couple of annual memberships uh, recently and I'm super excited to have you guys for a whole year. And, and also um, just thank you to all of you who have supported my channel through all these months and, and I just really appreciate it. So. That's pretty much it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, a good rest of your week, and as always, happy practicing. <laughs>